I got a, a message on the audio bus forum from a user who was interested in hearing a model of a tone, guitar tone that sounded like Vernon Reed's tone from uh, Vernon Reed is the guitarist from the band Living Color, and he specifically mentioned the song Cult of Personality is the song that he... So he said that Vernon Reed was using a pedal called the Rat, which is something that's not familiar to me, but I looked it up, and it's it's a... Well, it's, it's the kind of tone that he has on that song. It's a really high gain, really screeching overdrive. And so, obviously, when we want to model this, the first thing we need is a lot of gain. So let's go through the signal path that I've got. I've got an EQ. I'll show you the settings for that. This, this EQ models like the pre-EQ in the pedals or the preamp uh, section of an amplifier, uh, or both at the same time. Then I've got that going into a gain boost. This is just a standard gain from AUM, and I've got that pegged all the way up at the maximum setting. I need that because this saturator is uh, the way I have it set up now. This is our saturator, which is an app we haven't released yet. Um, this saturator uh, is kind of passive in the sense that it, it just takes what you give it and it, and it saturates it. It doesn't uh, currently have a lot of tone settings inside of it. So I've also got the input gain in the saturator pegged at the maximum setting and the output all the way at the minimum because with the input coming in so hot, uh, the output very easily uh, overloads the uh, audio system. And then I've got another gain cut after the saturator because the gain cut I put in the saturator wasn't enough to cut the gain down to a reasonable level. Following that, I have another EQ, and this is modeling my speaker cabinet. And then finally, it's going into a delay. This is EOS reverb from Audio Damage. I'm using very short delay time, 0.5 seconds, and a, and a very wet mix, 50%. In general, if you have really, really short delays like this, in a re uh, sorry decay like this in a reverb, you're not modeling reverb. I'm doing this to just model the the kind of um, echoing that happens inside the speaker cabinet or in the the small space around the speaker cabinet. Uh, and for that reason, I can run the mix at a much higher percentage than you would normally run. You know, if I put the re if I put the reverb up to, I'll take the mute off for a second. <laughs> Again. So uh, I think you can see that 50% mix is way too much for a reverb if I'm actually using it as a reverb. Like when I put it up to three seconds, it just gets uh, uh, loses detail in the sound. But for speaker cabinet modeling, that works fine. The main uh, heart of this patch is the same like all the other recent videos we've done. Three parts. Preamp EQ, gain stage, uh, saturator, and um, a second EQ which represents the speaker cabinet. So my first EQ, I'm going to close the saturator. Should I do that? I'll just I'll just move it out of the way. My first EQ is. Um, doing kind of the same thing it was doing when we did the uh, Metallica Enter Sandman patch. I'm going to take mute off so you can hear this. Um, so it's cutting down on the bass. I'll take that off so you can hear it. At this level of gain, you don't hear a big difference when I do that, uh, but it, it, it cleans up and focuses the distortion in the mid-range so I don't get too much flabbiness from the lower strings, uh, and that's why I have it there. The main thing going on here is this mid-boost at 1400 hertz, and if I, if I take that off, you'll hear a big difference. <laughs> So 
So I think what you can hear there is that most of my gain is coming from that, that mid boost. Uh, and we'll put it back on. And then I've got a treble cut, and the main reason for this is just to cut down on the noise. You hear it's just, just too much noise. It didn't, didn't cut much of it. It cut more if I did that. Let's see what that sounds like. That might actually be a good idea to cut down to there, um, but I lost a little bit of clarity when I did that. Let's see what happens if I cut it right down. So one thing you'll notice when you're doing um, high gain models is that if you cut the tone down on the input, you're going to either need more gain to get the saturator to put back more uh, high frequencies, or you're going to have to boost the high frequencies in the output to compensate for what you, you cut out in the input. So I might be able to get some of that back like this. That sounds terrible. I'm not sure if I should play with this on the video. Uh, I might it might be worth experimenting with that, but not now. Um, so let's let's go back to what we had before. Uh, so we, we just put up with all that noise. I, I don't think there's any way we're going to get rid of it. A noise gate, perhaps, would solve the problem. I think we should, uh, I think we should stop there. That's everything I wanted to show you. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, hit subscribe. And if you want to help us build our channel, click like. Uh, that'll just help YouTube rank our videos a little bit higher. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.